Hello everyone and welcome to a new devlog video. I am so excited about today's video because there's just so much that I need to show you guys. I have added breakable tiles and we have some energy barriers and I finally have a first sketch of a user interface so that you know how much energy you have and so let's just dive into it. So the very first thing that I'm gonna show you guys is breakable tiles. So as you can see here, I can stand off these tiles and of course I can break them. So in order to break them, we need some energy and we have none so let's go and grab some energy here as you can see when I grab some energy there is a small box that appears up in the GUI and now I can charge for it and as you can see here I've entered this blue state but I don't have any energy to actually have some projectiles so let's collect some here and now I can have a projectile and boom I can break them and this is so satisfying I can throw one away and this way I can break the styles here. Now I can also decide to go back to the state where I was and by decharging the energy. So as you can see here, I'm back to normal and I actually got the energy back. It went back to the GUI here. And now as you can see, we're confronted with this barrier here and I cannot go through. As you can see, I cannot go through and it cannot jump on it, it cannot bolt slide on it, it just can't go through. In order to go through here, we need to match the color of the aura that we have. So let's you know charge the aura back. And as you can see, we can go through and this is super satisfying. As you can see, when I'm in the barrier, it stays uh, in this color and when I'm not in it, blinks a little bit. So yeah, looks pretty cool right now. Now, as you can see here, we have a different barrier, which is red and the character cannot go through. So in order to do that, we need to change our energy state. We need to enter the red state. Oof. And now in the red state, the little guy can go through here, but cannot go through the blue one here. So super happy with the energy barriers. These are pretty intuitive. I want to say you just need to match the color basically. And this works with everything in the game. Actually, um, you need to match the color. So as you can see here, we have some tiles that we need to break and we need to uh, fulfill the color requirement, let's say. So as you can see here, if I have a uh, projectile, it doesn't break the blue one, but it only breaks the red one. Yes, oof. And if, so yeah, oof, as you can see, I can break um, the red ones and it doesn't break the other ones. So if we want to go through here, we actually need to uh, enter the gold state and send it to the side, yes. So by breaking the tiles, we can make our way through. So we can decharge to go back to our blue state. And um, we actually need to enter the red state again. Um, and we're almost, yeah almost there. No, we need to go to the blue. And so here's how you navigate. It's super satisfying in my opinion. And it allows for some pretty cool um, platforming so far. I'm so happy about how this whole uh, turned out. And I did all of this on the flight uh, because I'm in South America right now, I'm in Ecuador. And on the flight, uh, I spent a lot of hours working on the game because my flight was 11 hours. So I thought that I may just as well spend some time working on the game. And it's pretty exciting breaking these ones here very quickly. Of course, there are still some bugs. I don't know why the projectiles sometimes don't go where they're supposed to go, but you know, it's coming along pretty well. And now let's go through here. As you can see, the energy barrier is not exactly positioned where it should be. Yes, let's decharge and enter the red state. There you go, woof. And finally, the blue state. And here we're back at the beginning. I also want to show you guys what I did to, in, to put a lot of different objects within my scene. As you can see here, I'm only using some town maps. I use them to place some tiles, which are going to be hidden and replaced by the object. I've added a spawn items function, which basically what it does is that it replaces um, the tiles with an instance of the object. And this way I can add so many objects in the scene without actually having to do a lot of work. So if I want to um, add some uh, 
breakables here as you can see I can just do that and add them all over the place and the code is gonna take care of the rest so if I run the game as you can see here I have all the tiles and it was so easy so so easy to add new stuff to the game so I'm super excited about uh, the way that I added this because it makes the creation of the of the level way 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 better so what do you guys think about the uh, breakable tiles and the energy barrier and the new GUI? I'm so excited about it and the game is finally looking like a real game, I want to say. And so now I can play with uh, a breakable environment and the energy barriers to create some pretty interesting situation in which you need to have enough energy or switch back to a previous energy state and this way the character will be able to navigate the world better. And of course these are going to be the Different abilities that will be unlocked so when you start the game you won't be able to actually break the tiles uh, and you won't be able to go through the energy barriers so at the beginning you will see all of these elements that you think you can interact with but that you cannot until you actually unlock the ability so thank you again for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video <laughs> okay thank you bye